Fresno State starting five. They have three seniors, two freshmen out there. Hyder and Robinson, three and ten, are your two freshmen. And they've been outstanding at times this season. Robinson's been a little more consistent of the two. Hyder will run the point along with Williams at times. And right on cue, Orlando Robinson, the freshman from Las Vegas, scores. Well, he's had a phenomenal freshman year, and he's doing that now over taller opponents. But he's agile. He can knock down shots. Keep your eyes on him. He's going to be a key to this game. Porter took it into the lane. I think his coach wanted him to shoot. Instead, he goes out to Miller, who can't stick the three. Utah State's not going to stop shooting. You know, but they're one of the top uh, teams in the country in field goal attempts. They're going to put shots up. They put 16 shots up, but they just haven't scored. That was Bearstow trying to take it to the rim. I like the aggressiveness of Fresno State. They're playing aggressive on the ball defense, and they're coming there to help uh, inside, which they need to do. They've got some size disadvantages, but they're playing really well on interior defense. Orlando Robinson back in there. Being guarded by the big 7-foot-2-inch Kuba Karvosky, who's playing in just his third game in the month of February. Four to shoot. Robinson looking like a point guard. Attacks the rim and draws contact. Smart play, Steve. That's what you want to do against the bigger and taller Aggies. You've got to isolate. I thought they did a good job, Fresno State, of isolating on the block, on the elbow and driving. That's what's a really good play. Look for that to happen more this game. First on Karvovsky. When we were at the shoot-arounds earlier today, as Robinson goes to the free throw line here, you had pointed out Utah State, they get to the free throw line quite a bit. And free throws very well could be key here in this one. Well, they haven't tonight, Steve, but when you you get there as often as they do, which is third in the country, that's really a heck of a sign. That's That means you're not just going to depend on your outside shot to fall. You're going to find other ways to break the other team's rhythm and, and hopefully score and get, get going. Robinson made one of two. He's had a special freshman year. He has five games of 20 points or more. Paul George had six when he was a freshman at Fresno State. Merrill hasn't gotten it going yet. Bearstow on the drive over the top to Karvovsky and knocked out of bounds by Robinson. It's sticking with Utah State. Fresno State again, solid job defensively. Can they defend with a short clock and rebound? Point blank to the basket with a short clock. Fresno State, no field goals in the last four minutes, and they've fallen behind now nine at home. They haven't given the crowd much to get into here. Robinson against Karvovsky with a left hand. He shows you his athletic moves. He just couldn't get that one to go down. Well, the Aggies went to a zone there, Steve. They went to a 2-3 zone, and why not? When you're that big, you're really got a size advantage. Misfires, and it's rebounded by Heider. Heider tries to put it into another gear to fellow freshman Robinson. Spin move, and boy, he just gets erratic sometimes, and he gets bailed out right there on a foul, but might have hit the back of his head. Uh, and now we're going to see a few more whistles, I think, maybe. Foul was on Grimes. Robinson from behind blocks Bean, but last touch by Robinson on the block. Fourth baseline, and he stepped out of bounds, but I think stats can be very misleading. We talked about that with the Coach Smith today. Nine turnovers. You can have good turnovers and bad turnovers. Tata underneath. Yeah, That's he, a wild shot. Well, it, all right, it's back to a six-point game, a two-possession game. This Bulldogs team will not go away. And Brito lost it out of bounds. Well, a few turnovers here. Utah State getting a little fast. And Six-point game. Williams knifing through traffic. Robinson for three. The big fella buries it. Well, that's... A welcome sight. You know, we talked about his ability. His talent level as a freshman is off the charts. And thank goodness that he said they missed. But he wants his team to challenge up. Fresno State's getting some good looks now. They might feel very fortunate if they exit the St. Mark Center tonight with a victory and an offensive foul on Nimi Keita. Well, I mentioned this earlier, Steve. You know, you can see one of the problems is that Kata's getting the ball off the block, and he's having to dribble to the rim.